Good morning, Stampers. Welcome to Episode 6 of Technique Tuesdays. Today's technique is called Die Cut Masking. Uh, it can, that seems a little, you can use die cuts, you can use punch cuts. Um, there's just a million different things you could do. You can use the positive end, you can use the negative of your die cut. Today we're going to use the positive end. These make for really good single layer cards. Like if you don't want to mat it, you just want to do a simple single layer card. It's, it's quick, it's fun. And we're just going to make this one today. Just a little thank you. And we're just going to jump right in. Now what you need for this is a mask. So for this mask, you can use painter's tape. You want to use either frog tape or one that um, the painters use for trim. Um, you'll see in my other techniques, I use this blue tape quite a bit. It won't peel up your card. It won't destroy your card. I mean, you still have to be careful, but if you can find one that's called actual frog tape, it's even... Uh, a lot more gentle and comes up really easy. So you need a painter's tape or you can use a uh, shelf liner. This works great. It's cheap. You buy this great big roll at like Walmart for three or four dollars and you're gonna have more than you need to uh, use in a lifetime as you see here. This is just a clear uh, contact paper I had in stock for when I'm using, you know, like my silhouette or something. Or you can use, um, Inkadoo has a stamping mask paper. Um, I'm not even sure how much of this I have left. Um, I just have a little piece left. And it's just a masking paper that's a two-part. You uh, either stamp and cut out your imager. We are going to die cut ours out of this today. And use it as a mask. So this is by, I guess I didn't spell, pronounce that right, Inca Dinka Do. All right, that's a mouthful, but you can get this at the craft store and it's just a simple masking paper. So for this one, I'm going to do a simple thank you card. So I did decide instead of making mine just a, a single layer card, I did add a a mat, a color mat. And we're using the new Rococo Rose. I love this color. So we're going to use that, a little bit of Memento Black. And I also have the stamp set Floral Essence because I'm going to put a couple little flowered images on this. So we're going to go ahead and I've already, for the sake of film, I've already cut out my thank you. This is in the catalog. It's, um, I'll have a part number for it for you. And I've cut it out of the mask. And it comes out like this. And this is your top. And then it's just got a thin, uh, like, protective to protect the sticky. So we're going to peel that off. And you can save this because you can use it if you want to just try to hold it down and use it. But using the sticky side kind of holds it in place for us. So I'm going to place this on my, this is a piece of Whisper White that is three and three quarter by five. So I'm going to just put this right in the middle of my card. You can do this with your letter dies, create whatever words you want. So we've got that into place. And I'm just going to use a sponge dauber. You can use a sponge dauber or you can use a sponge. Uh, my sponges I label with a little tab paper so that each of my sponges have a color. I'm going to pull out a Rococo Rose here. This color is so beautiful. If you haven't got your new colors yet, you're just going to love it. So all I'm going to do is just sponge right over that and create a shadow around it. 
kind of blend it out on the edges. So you could do this with anything. You could do it with your punches, um, any of your silhouette dies. That would look really nice. And let's see. God, it, it, the, the ideas are endless that you can do with this. But this is a quick way if you want a, a fast little card that's different. I'm just making sure I'm all the way around the letters and cut a little fog on the edges. You could mix colors. You could do a couple different colors and blend them together. You could use pretty much any medium you wanted. Uh, if you felt like doing a watercolor wash with it, that would look pretty. But I was trying to find something that's kind of just quick single layer so we've got that and I'm going to take the flower image from the floral essence I'm going to ink up and I don't want this super strong because this is a brand new ink pad so it's going to be pretty inky so I think I'm going to stamp it off once and then stamp right over my masking I'm going to do one more, stamp it off a little, and do another one probably about here. Oh, I had something on my stamp. That's okay. And then I'm just going to use the Well Said set. We've got several greetings in this. I'll put a link to it. It's got... This well set, this well said set is a two box set, has almost all the holidays covered: bride, welcome, birthday, baby. So if you need different greetings for different occasions, this set's got it all, and it also has a coordinating die set with the words cut out in dies that you can use for this technique. I just picked a big thank you. So out of that, I'm going to use the For Everything right here. I'm just going to use my Memento Black. I have some more samples of this technique. I'll, tr I'll put them on the post below this video. Using it in a negative and a positive. So I'm just going to kind of offset this right below there. We've got our for everything. And I'll pick up my mask. Look at that. I just love it. And, you know, try it with different colors. Mix your colors. Maybe do your flowers different. Uh, mix some yellows and oranges. Whatever color scheme you want. And we're just going to... Of course, you know me. Got to have a little bit of shimmer. I'm going to add just a little bit of Wink of Stella to these flowers. Just to add a little something, something. You know, I've got to have that something, something bling. And these are the Gingham Gala sequins. Comes in several colors. And I'm just going to add a couple little sequins to this. Let's put one there. Maybe one over here. And let's do another one right here. There we go. And we're just, oh, I gotta grab my glue. Or I'll just grab a tape burner. So we're just gonna mount this. Use whatever your favorite adhesive is. I didn't have my glue over here, so we're just gonna do tape. Our snail. Put this on our on our mat, and 
then we'll just do our mat directly onto our card base. The mat is uh, four by five and a quarter. And then our card base is an A2 Whisper White. Let's line this up. I usually line up two corners. And if you line those two up correctly, the rest of it falls right into place. And look how simple and quick that card was. So if you need a quick thank you or a quick happy birthday, go ahead and experiment. Use your different dies or your punches. You got your dog or your cat punch you can do this technique with. Try it on some of your designer series paper. How pretty would that be? You have a designer series background with a little greeting. So this was just a really quick technique that's called die cut masking. I hope you enjoyed it today. Happy stamping.